So yeah, the talk is everything is a plugin. Mastering Webpack from the inside out. So oh my gosh, you guys just learned the entire process of Webpack. The compiler, it reads options and then creates you a compilation. And we're into the meat now. That compilation is going to read the entry property and it's going to send it through the normal module factory into your resolver because we need to know if this file exists. And when it does, it's actually going to send it back out and on its way, it's going to create a module object with the source inside. But we can't just put imports and stuff into, you know, we can't just throw that in there. We need to know about our dependencies. And so it's going to go through the parser. If it's not JavaScript, loaders are going to transform it to JavaScript. But eventually, it gets to the parser, and we're going to create and know about the dependencies in each module that gets parsed. And then what, what are we going to do? We're going to repeat the entire process for every dependency also. Those become modules. They are new nodes on your dependency graph. And it, recur it recurses until you have an entire graph. So you just learned Webpack behind the scenes entirely. And on top of that, every one of those things in the life cycle that you just saw can be plugged into and customized. Oh, yes, I love that question. So, Sean, how do I debug Webpack? If something goes wrong in all these fancy terminologies that you've used in these instances, how do I know what's going wrong? How can I find out? Um, so when we break out the laptops and we decide to write a couple plugins here in just a moment, um, I'm going to show you a quick command that I use that I built into the repository. Um, but the best way is by using Node Debugger and like Chrome Inspect. Or if you're a VS Code user like myself, you can actually just do that right from, right from the editor. So let's, let's, let's make some plugins. But what is happening behind the scenes? Can we debug into this process? Yes, you can. So why don't we jump into the actual plugin itself that is authored, and we can go ahead and just add a debugger statement. So now, why don't we run npm run debug? Oh, look at that. And so now we've actually dove into the node process, and so, we have a debugger, so we should be able to hit play at the top right. And it's going to take us all the way down to the debugger statement. Hey! We can literally debug any part of our plugin. Okay, in review, the main principles of a Webpack plugin are they are instantiable, so it's a class that implements an apply method. And the argument inside of here is going to give back something that you can plug into. In 90% of the cases, it's the compiler. Okay, so let's try it again. npm run debug. All right, what happens? This is called debug-driven development. <laughs> if this like totally made no sense to you and like, Sean, I regret this. <laughs> I just want to learn about Webpack. Go here. Um, or go to our docs page, webpack.js.org slash concepts. So thank you guys so much.